Now to the driver who used an ingenious method to survive being stranded in a snowstorm. Chief National Correspondent Matt Gutman spoke with him. An ordinary motorist stuck in the snow might think of hiking to safety or more likely hunkering down and just waiting for help, but not Casey Ryan. My friend was telling me, no, man, it's going to be fine. We're, we have everything we need. And so I just thought, OK, let's just give that a shot. Earlier that day, Ryan, his dog Corduroy, and a friend nosed his truck into Willamette National Park. Casey is used to these snowy roads. It's his favorite canyon, one that he's been on many times before. And we're kind of trucking along, and the snow is getting deeper. It was getting late in the afternoon, and they started heading home about 30 miles into the forest when they came across a woman inside her black van. She was stuck in the snow. They offered to pull her out, but then reversed into a snow ditch. The snow started to lock up, it's looking like we actually might be stuck. At first, they were thinking of hiking out, but then... I looked to my left and right, and I, I'm kind of trying to figure out which mountain is the high enough. His friend had an idea. What about a drone? How do you devise this drone? I had actually seen that movie Fall recently, and my friend had uh, remembered watching on the news a couple years ago that there was people dropping phones into jails uh, for inmates. We realized we just have to get as high as the mountain. I used a paracord and a little bit of gorilla tape and a pretty much a uh, paper towel. MacGyver would be super proud of this. <laughs> Thanks. So to recap, Casey takes his cell phone and writes a text to his wife with location details, wraps it in a paper towel, gets a piece of cord, ties that to the bottom of the drone, and it worked. She let me know, do not leave the vehicle. They are coming. Help was on the way. By the way, that drone flew three times over a 24-hour period, sending those messages to Casey's wife. When we got on scene and he explained that he used his drone to get cell reception by going higher, we were shocked and kind of amazed at the ingenuity. The Lane County Sheriff's search and rescue rolling in and pulling out Casey's truck. Casey Ryan's grateful to be alive and still showing off his drone skills. I immediately texted my wife, told her, thank you so much. You know, it's because of you we got out of here. That sheriff saying tying a phone to a drone, sending it into the sky in order to send a text message to his wife vacationing halfway across the road. Ingenious driving on unmaintained snowy roads in the middle of the winter. Maybe not such a great idea. Robin. Our thanks to Matt. And I just watched that movie fall yeah. on a flight to San Francisco last week. And I did think about when so you're prepared. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I'm no MacGyver. I'm more, I'm more MacGruber than MacGyver. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.